Oh, yes. If you are looking for the last one you're ever going to buy, congratulations. You might have just found a, a just simply stunning 3350 uh, Cardinal landed down here at Advantage 1RV, and it has it all. Roof, solar, washer and dryer, generator, full body paint package, and a partridge in a pear tree. Uh, the only thing this thing needs right now is a new owner. And you give us a call, and I, I'm pretty sure we can fulfill that need. <laughs> this is glorious! Now, if you weren't really aware of kind of where uh, Cardinal lines up in the, the scheme of things, this is kind of uh, Forest River's offering for the Montana segment that like Keystone would have or a North Point by Jayco. This is, this is beautiful. We have dual whisper air, rain sensor vent fan with a remote control. So you could literally sit in that chair, keep the remote control in that little uh, center console out of the way and uh, you know, open that side window next to you to get some airflow moving. All the windows open for airflow. You have day-night shades all around. I love that big, beautiful vaulted ceiling. I like how they filled that kind of empty space above that rear cabinet with an accent light also. Now we'll get to all the kitchen stuff in just a minute, but one of the things I want to kind of point out here is um, North Point does a very similar thing where they put the TV on a televator. You know, the TV go kind of goes up and down. Interesting thing here, is the uh, controls for that are actually located in the like uh, you know digital control command system? And what's interesting about that is if you got your phone synced to that, you could then be able to raise and lower that TV like from your phone from your chair. So you could like put the TV away when you're done with it, if you will. <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty cool. But you're gonna see this RV's got a lot of crazy cool stuff big uh, uh, sleeper sofa on the back here. Now it's not bolted down. It doesn't have side stands. In case you're wondering, those little cushions on the right are there to help keep it from like banging around in transit. Previous owners obviously paid a lot of attention to what they're doing there. And I love the size of that big plush theater seat. Um, you know, if you're a little bit thicker in the hips or the shoulders or whatnot, the extra room that you're going to get there is fantastic. And just all of the windows over here on the door side of the RV. Um, two plus two chair arrangement. So uh, when you're not using two of the chairs, you could actually just squirm them away under the bed or um, what else do I want to say? Like in the in the front closet or anything like that. Some serious counter space in here too. We'll get a little look at that dishwasher in just a minute. Uh, this is something I know some people are like, hey, I'm looking for an RV I can live in. This can get it done. I mean, this, this has everything. If you're going to be parked in one spot it would get the job done it has a great ride and handling package though it's got the uh the solar panel on the roof which is keeping all of our lighting running which is very convenient for me there's i mean like like i said the only thing this doesn't have right now is you to take it home won't, won't you won't you come visit <laughs> bathroom here has some very nice leg room and this upper deck uh considering the tall sidewalls and the vaulted ceiling very similar to say like a jayco north point or pinnacle you have exceptional headroom when you are in that big one piece molded fiberglass shower and something i kind of noticed is that height adjustable shower head right there that is something that a lot of brands have kind of stopped doing over the years 
very recently I've seen that phase out from a lot of RV production. I like that they did it here. And by the way, how cool is this? This is a really good indicator of what we're looking at. All solid surface, one piece molded bathroom sink. That's an amazing little detail right there that very precious few brands do. And just like the kitchen, rain sensor and max air vent fan up top. And don't get me wrong, this bedroom's beautiful. I love that nice TV staring straight across showing us that all oh, hardwood cabinetry looking good. But over there on the left, that is what's going to be just a deal maker for some folks, having the Splendid washer and dryer already installed in here. So again, we, I mean, things like we have the dishwasher, the washer, dryer, generator, solar, full paint. There just isn't much this one doesn't have. And that is a larger king bed, but what I like here is uh, this brand really, they plan on building a king. They don't plan on a lot of people taking one of these home with a queen. And what I like about that is it means they leave extra room to walk around the bed. You're never going to feel like you're, you're really trapped in and you don't really have to do a lot of that like sideways travel trailer two-stepping, you know? And again, I mean, the headroom in here, here, I, look at this. <laughs> it's... That's got to be close to seven foot tall. This is enormous. If you're a, if you're way taller than the average bear, you're going to feel very comfortable here. And that is something most fifth wheels just don't do. And similarly, again, I told you it's taller upstairs, but like the headroom in the shower here, this, <coughs> this is awesome. I've been all around her a couple times now. I can't find any like dings or blemishes in that paint package. It looks like, it, I mean, it was obviously kept cleaned and well maintained. The dual awnings here, look at them real close. You can, first of all, the front awning's a little bit bigger, but you see how they have those nice aluminum shrouds on them just to help keep that awning fabric nice and protected because it's actually the base of the fabric that tends to fail first when it's rolled up because it's still exposed to the weather. Well, now you don't have that issue here. The tires have maybe a thousand miles on them. Uh, you've got the uh, handy more ride steps here for just that easy come, easy go feeling inside, uh, you know, well, as you pass through rather, that extra wide, extra tall entry door right here. And then over here in the pass through baggage door compartment, you see how this is outfitted with that optional kind of slide open telescopic. It can pivot around and face where you want it. HD TV. So not just you know, TV hookups in the basement, but an actual TV installed in the basement. And this is the kind of thing that I look for on a used RV. I start looking at stuff like the floor of a pass-through storage compartment, and that looks factory fresh, and it's virtually gleaming and clean. And look at this interesting little thing. There's a little buckle snap right there. If you unsnap that little outside speaker setup that points out toward your campsite, instead of speakers that are mounted way up high in the RV that, you know, only serve to kind of deafen the neighbors and get them calling uh, the uh, Yogi Bear Park Ranger on you. Six-point hydraulic auto leveling. There is a gas grill quick connect right down there, by the way. And as we wrap around the corner, speaking of propane, we have ourselves the Onan uh, 5500 propane generator up front. Very low hours. And this is interesting, but it's kind of smart, actually. I like the, uh, the vent location for the, uh, the dryer unit on the washer dryer, actually on the bottom side of the gooseneck instead of sitting or sticking out of the sidewall. And the reason I like that is it's virtually impossible at this stage for water to try to penetrate. Like water can't wick its way down those screws. It's not a common thing, but it is nice that it's not gonna happen here. A good ride and handling package on this one too, you know, cause you got a big rig like this. You want getting there to be as fun as being there. That being said, with all the equipment that's on this one, it is hard to uh, to imagine being there being more fun than just getting there. I think you know what I mean. I'm kind of rambling. Of course, we have our privatized docking center down here, keeping everything heated, enclosed, protected. This is a hot, cold, camp-rated, tested, proven product. And look at the paint on this. Look at the reflection, the glimmer, and the sheen. You can clearly see. You could literally, even though it's in you know Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo reverse print, the word cameo off that fifth wheel over there in the distance. 
On the back here, it has a class two receiver hitch, which is a one inch square receiver. Ideal for things like uh, bike racks. Now, uh, with the weather, it's icy up there on the roof. I can't get up there, but I do want you to know, once again, it does have a factory roof solar package on it, which is primarily going to act as an extremely over uh, the top aggressive battery tender. Now, that solar package will not keep something like that residential fridge running indefinitely, but remember, this has the generator on it. This RV is equipped to do basically anything you want, basically anywhere you want. And once again, I am just a sucker for those huge panoramic campside windows.